Welcome to another plan with me. Today we are doing a series of posts in collaboration with Erin from Erin Flodo Design. We are doing a series on wedding planning and we're doing this series because we noticed that there isn't a lot of resources online for this particular subject. So we're going to start with a memory keeping page in my undated Archer and Olive planner. It's a B5 size, so you have tons of space in the borders to be able to doodle or draw or add memories. So we're going to say in this particular one that we are getting engaged and that we are very excited. We're going to create a page that keeps those memories really close to our heart. I started off with a rainbow washi tape um, kind of arrow on the page. I wanted to use as much washi tape as I could because I found in the moment that I've been collecting way too much of it. So this series post is going to be the first one in a series of five. We're going to be covering off things like budgets, we're going to be covering off a whole variety of different subjects. Once my rainbow is made, I'm now going to cut off the edges so that it's nice and smooth and flush against the page. I'm just using my X-Acto knife on a uh, pad and making it really easy, just keeping it kind of straight and freehanding it. I'm now going to use my Amy Tangerine stickers to kind of match this rainbowy feel that I really want. I decided that I wanted rainbow and gold as my memory keeping spread and I wanted to add some watercolors. One of the things that I really love about the Archer and Olive Undated Planner is that it's 160 GSM. So using watercolor pa paint in my planner is absolutely no problem. It doesn't leak, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't ghost. It's absolutely fabulous. And it just adds a really fun texture to the page as well. I'm now adding some embellishments with a couple of cute little stamps just around the page just to create a little bit more fun on the page. Now let's put that important date in. We're saving the date. I'm adding some embellishments around the side with some really cute scrapbooky paper. And essentially what I'm doing here is I'm making my planner as scrapbooky as possible to really remember that special day. You can do it in a variety of different ways. You can have photos, you can print out um, you know, coupon tickets that you may have used for the day. You may have gone to a specific location, you know, use the tickets from that particular day. And in the freebie uh, that we're going to be giving out, there's a couple of questions that you can ask yourself with regards to memory keeping and things that you can write down that are really important to you. So when we start journaling, I have asked myself a couple of questions. What was I doing? What was I wearing? What was I feeling? What kind of weather was there? What time of day was it? Was there any special memories that I wanted to keep track of? I wrote all of those down and made sure that we kept them all in one place. Hopefully this quick tutorial on how to memory keep those big special days is helpful and we look forward to seeing you in the rest of the series. As always, thanks for watching and please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below as well. Thank you.